Hello everyone, back tuning in to Jamie Friday. As always on a Friday, we have a detailed look at the weather for month ahead, and it's going to take us more or less to the end of December. I think we run up to the final uh, sort of two or three days of uh, December with this uh, particular update. Up uh, first day of winter today, of course, first of December, which means it's the first day of statistical meteorological uh, winter anyway. Um, actually, it's a bit dubious. The weather doesn't stick to those uh, sort of criteria. So uh, you can get winter weather, as we know, before December. And you can get uh, wintry weather well after February as well. But statistical meteorological winter is the 1st of December through to the 28th or 29th of uh, February. And so we are in the first day of not only December, but the first day of winter, 2017-18, uh, today and of course that means that uh, time for winter forecast so uh, you will see the gas of its winter 2017-18 forecast on Sunday. It's a little bit delayed this year just by a couple of days. We normally issue it on the 1st of December and I want to hold it back just a couple of days to uh, the 3rd. So it'll be with you on Sunday. The winter 2017-18 forecast will be eagerly waited I'm sure, but before we get on with uh, talking about that, just to say that um, the Christmas shop is open. So if you've got any Christmas shop to do at Amazon between now and Christmas, click, 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 click the green button and go through to our Christmas shop page. And then from there, you go through the Amazon banners because you've gone from Gas Office to Amazon. We will get ready thing on the things that you're buying. You'll know you're on the right page because you'll see the uh, snowflakes fluttering down the screen. A big thank you to everybody for doing that. As always, you've still got plenty of time to get your um, Christmas presents through, uh, but uh, don't leave it too much time because time is now, of course, cracking on Christmas just 25 days away. Right, so let's get on with uh, JMA Friday. We're going to begin by having a look at the 500 mm height anomaly flow charts from the Japanese Meteorological Agency, broken down into weekly periods. The first week period will take us from today through to the 8th of uh, December. And on these charts, blue will be extrapolating to high uh, to low pressure, and red extrapolating to high pressure. So we find that for the weekend, we've got a trough of below average heights, low pressure to our east, and we've got above average heights, which is high pressure, out to our west, and also going up to uh, the north of the country as well, which uh, is going to leave us on the cold side of the jet stream. With the jet, we'll be doing something uh, rather like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So the week ahead is going to be quite cold, especially to start off with. There will be a bit of an Atlantic uh, moderation to this because the flow isn't directly northerly. Actually, it's sort of uh, northwest, uh, something rather like that. So there will be an, an Atlantic influence to the wind, and that will be particularly the case through the early part of next week. So don't be expecting the coming week to be as cold as sort of this week has been. Uh, I think we will get moderation to the winds, and at times, actually, uh, early next week anyway, it may even be quite mild. But then we go through to uh, week two, and this is the 8th to the 15th of December, and this one is looking colder. We've got the ridge again through the Atlantic. It's pulling back into Greenland. Also, it's sending up to this northern blocking over here, below average heights are centred to our east. Also notice a big trough of below average heights in East America. So this is one of those unique situations where you can actually get both sides of the Atlantic cold at the same time. So doing something a little bit like that uh, with the flow and uh, with the jet stream as well. It's probably a bit wrong, but we do something like that anyway. The uh, upshot is that uh, sort of both sides of the Atlantic just here and then to there. Both sides of the Atlantic are on the cold side of the jet stream with troughs of low pressure. So week two, with uh, the JMA model anyway, is looking cold uh, today, the 8th to the 15th of December. And then we go through to weeks three and four. This takes us from the 15th through 29th of December. And we have find below average heights just extending into the UK from the Atlantic. Some weak above average heights are forming, but they're a very long way south. But to the south of Spain... And across North Africa, probably not uh, doing much for us to bring up mild air. And they've also got all this yellow up here. So whilst the model is re-establishing a westerly flow and it's bringing milder conditions back there in those uh, final two weeks of December... Not sure I take it all that seriously. This is a very a week three and four anomaly where the um, signals are normally quite weak. This is a very strong signal that we've got here for a continuation 
of uh, northern blocking. So although the model is keen to try and re-establish the Atlantic and thus start to warm up the temperatures, I wouldn't necessarily take that too seriously. With such a strong blocking signal here, I reckon that at uh, some point in the second half of the month, we probably are still at risk against some cold conditions as well. Overall, the JMA could be going for a reasonably uh, cold December, would you believe? Let's have a look at the tropical and the latitude view in terms of the temperature and precipitation anomaly. So a reminder of the week one, 500 bit of our height only, British Isles is in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it, of course. This is going from the 1st to the 8th of uh, December. We've got the above average heights to our west also extending to the northwest, uh, and we do something like that for flow with the jet stream. So it, we are still more or less on the cold side of the jet, but we're bringing in some slightly modified and milder air from off the Atlantic. So it's not a clear-cut uh, cold pattern. The um, rainfall anomaly, anomaly, precipitation anomaly in the weekend is coming out rather on the drier than average side. The uh, temperature anomaly is average to hinting at being a bit colder than average. So it's certainly not exciting with the temperatures in terms of mild weather. But it's not as cold, I don't think, in the week ahead as we've had it in the past week. Notice many parts of Europe, by the way, looking uh, really quite cold. Uh, indeed. So, a bit milder, but certainly not very mild, and uh, just a little bit less cold, I suppose, in the coming week than we've had it uh, this week. We have the above average heights in the Atlantic for week two, and they're extending up to the north with below average heights to our east, also over here. Uh, that means that the precipitation anomaly is coming out wetter than average. It's seen quite a wet week there from the 8th to the 15th of the month and also colder than average as well. So this gets very interesting now, this second week of December, because it's colder than average and it's also wetter than average or above average precipitation. And that could well mean snow because, of course, a cold and average temp temperature anomaly in December with above average rainfall or above average precipitation, that could well be a signal there in the second week of December to deliver us some snow uh, from the JMA model. Certainly don't rule that out. And then we go through to weeks three and four. This takes us from the 15th to the 29th of uh, December when we find the Atlantic is being re-established. So we bring the jet stream back and we bring those areas of low pressure back as well. What we can't see, but we know it's there because we've already seen the Northern Hemisphere view from the pole down, up here, we've got a very large area of high pressure, a very large area of blocking up to our north over the Arctic, and a very weak area of high pressure also developing to the south of Spain. That's a very long way south. I'm not sure that's going to be enough in its own on its own to uh, lift the jet stream back northwards again. So expect temperatures to be milder, and that's what we see. We do find that uh, the temperature anomalies are increasing back to average or a little bit milder than average for the UK, going warmer than average for Spain and, and also the Central Europe as well. But I have to re-emphasise, we do see a very strong blocking signal here in these with this, this two-weekly period, the third and fourth weeks of December. So I'm a little bit unsure about just how mild that gets. And the precipitation only also coming out above average, which you'd expect because it is lifting the jet stream back north. So if we take the model output in its own terms, the early part of December is likely to be cold and windy at times. The second half of December is likely to be quite wet and also milder. But we continue through that week three, four period to have a strong blocking signal over the pole. And there must be, um, especially with such a weak ridge down across the south of Spain, that's not going to be enough to push a jet stream north on its own. Uh, so with such a strong blocking signal, I am a bit dubious about how it's re-establishing the Atlantic there uh, and bring the jet stream back north through the second half of December. Let's have, look, let's have a look at CFS V2. Again, these are 500 millibar heights broken down into week periods. The first week period going from the 1st to the 7th of December. The coming week finds that we've got above average heights uh, to our north and northwest, below average heights over across the east of Europe. And we're doing something like that with the flow. So, again, very good agreement between these two models for the week ahead. It will be less cold in the week ahead than uh, we had it through this past week, but not exactly mild. We're certainly not bringing up any air from the tropical Atlantic. 
uh, with that one. Then we go through to week two. This is the 8th to the 14th of December. Uh, quite a deep trough seen over Scandinavia, above average heights out to our west. Uh, so not quite as good that for uh, cold weather for us in week two as we see with the uh, JMA. But it's not far off. It All you have to do is push this uh, centre of this ridge just a little bit further north, centre it there rather than there. And since it there, we will tap into proper Arctic air. So it certainly isn't very far away, but not quite as uh, cold with that one as we have it with the JMA in the second week of December. Nevertheless, the wind will still be coming down at the very least of a northwesterly direction, so it will still be uh, quite cool at times. Uh, and then we go through to uh, week three, which takes us from the 15th, 21st of December. Again, notice how much of a blocking signal we've got up here. Lots and lots of high pressure indeed. It looks like a really cold month for eastern parts of America, by the way. A deep trough is in there to the east of America. For us, again, the ridge is out to our west, sinking a little bit further uh, south was actually, but we've still got this deep trough to our east, so it's rather complicated pattern, but I think we're probably doing something like that, and to be honest, with the trough there and the trough there, the position of this ridge looks a bit dubious, I would have thought this ridge should be further north really, connecting up with this um, blocking that we've got up here, and then that would make sense, because the jet stream would do something uh, like that. So that's a really deep trough that we've got there sitting uh, more or less over Denmark and the North Sea. So um, the upshot, if we did have high pressure there, as I think it should be with low pressure there, the upshot would be that we should be pulling in the wind from the north and the northeast. Overall, I'm seeing quite cold signals here. So that's certainly the first half of uh, December anyway. And then we go through to uh, week four, which is the 22nd through 28th of December. This covers Christmas period, of course. And the milder Atlantic winds are re-establishing now. So this does make sense. We've got the low pressure to our northwest. We've got the high pressure down across the Azores. And we'll just be bringing a flat westerly flow through across the country. So that seems milder, but also very unsettled conditions probably uh, for Christmas. The temperature anomaly looks like this. So the week ahead is a little bit mild average of Scotland, a little bit cold average maybe for England and Wales. Notice much of Europe uh, looking really quite cold as well. Uh, week two, so we find that the UK is generally a little bit milder than average in week two. Uh, much of Central Europe coming out cold average. The JMA wants this to be a colder week. Bear that in mind. The second week of December with the JMA is a lot colder uh, than this is showing. Notice how cold it is across many eastern parts of America as well. Uh, we go through to uh, week three, and the temperature anomalies are a bit colder in week three, 15th to 21st of December. Average to a little bit on the cold of an average side, but most of Europe starting to warm up. Again, very cold over across eastern parts of America. And then we go through to week four, and we go for the Christmas week, just probably where most people would like it to be a bit colder. Um, we actually go quite significantly warmer than average, as does many parts of Europe as well. So the two models are really seeing quite a cold first half of December, I think, and then seeing this recovery in the temperature in the second half of December. Precipitation anomalies that we had are coming out drier than average, which you would expect as we're blocking off the Atlantic. Week two precipitation anomalies look much more unsettled. So this is potentially looking quite a cold and unsettled week, I think, this second week of December, with some wintry potential. Week three is also looking a little bit on the wetter than average side. Again, it is quite a cold week from the 15th to 21st December, so there is going to be some wintry potential there as well. And then week four goes very wet. This is a strong signal for week four because normally by the time you get through to the fourth week, uh, anomalies with um, CFS V2. Usually it's losing the signal, but it has got a very strong signal today for it to be really wet through that um, sort of week four period, the 22nd to the 28th of December. And it's also very mild as well. So Chris is probably wet, mild and stormy. If I was right, that's a very, very long way off in this kind of blocked pattern, so don't worry about that. I think we're going to concentrate on the first half of December, and I think all in all it's shaping up to be quite a cold-ish first half of December. There's no signal here for a December 2010. I have to keep re-emphasising that. There's no signal that we're going to get extraordinarily severe 
in terms of cold and snow, such as we had in December seven years ago. Uh, I'm sure you remember it very, very well. There's no sign of that, but since December 2010, generally the Decembers that we've had have been very mild. 2012 was a little bit cold during the first half. But overall, since um, the December to remember... We've had a run of very mild, wet, windy, quite stormy Decembers. I think this is looking like a colder December. Not severely cold, not a freezing, snow-covered Britain uh, going on for weeks, such as we had seven years ago. But probably some wintry potential at times. And just a seasonable feel uh, is indicated, I think, by these two models uh, as we go through, certainly the first half of December, and then I think the second half is much more up for grabs. They want to re-establish things, but uh, re-establish things from the West, I should say, mild weather. But with such a strong blocking signal, like we see, especially with the JMA, I think there is a little bit of uncertainty about how quickly milder conditions would re-establish. So all, all in all, it is looking quite interesting this December, to say the least, and uh, we'll keep you posted, of course, at Gazwevis over the next few uh, weeks. Um, and just say that Terry Scoldis' temper forecast will be released here at website this evening, so you'll be able to see what uh, Terry is predicting for December around uh, 7 o'clock this evening at Gazwevis. And then, of course, Sunday, it's the uh, winter forecast. So um, I'm sure that'll have a lot of interest. All right, that's all now. Thanks for watching.